All right, everyone, welcome to another polycarbon gains video. And today we're going to look at this beautiful asset here, the floating islands. And we're going to take it into Unity, check it out and uh, see what type of beautiful scene we can uh, make from this, this asset here. All right, once you have the package imported, go ahead to your folder where it says floating islands environment. And we're going to go ahead and check out the prefabs here. So we already have our scene created and we're going to see what we have here. So it looks like we have a couple of uh, interesting variations here. So let's see what they look like. All right. Looks pretty good. I like the way they look. And it looks like they have like large ones and small ones and you can kind of put them together very modularly to kind of create like a cool like climbing level or like kind of like the, um, the uh, floating cliffs in Avatar. So these look really good. Okay, so let's go ahead and check out variation two. So it looks like it's uh, almost the same as the one we had before, but uh, this one has a different color, and these actually look pretty good, actually. I, I do kind of like the way the, uh, the other variations look. And once again, they are modular. They are very modular, so you can kind of put them together to create like different types of... Um, areas here so I do I do really do like these islands here they look really nice in the unity lighting as well uh, so I, I, I really like this asset here okay so let's go ahead and check out the other prefabs here so we have uh, the floating islands so we already checked that out a couple of these and we have some plants here so let's check see how these plants look okay not too bad we have a couple of different kinds here couple of nice variations and then we have a large variation here Let's take a closer look at these guys here very nice I do like the way the plants look as well all right so let's see what, what else we have here we have the red trees and the red trees actually look pretty good as well very nice and just like everything on here, they all have uh, LODs. So I would say right out the box, this uh, this asset uh, is very good. I would give this a uh, a very high score in my book here. Uh, I was able to just put it in and just kind of uh, throw things in my scene and kind of get it uh, working here. Uh, so it's so a very good asset here. Uh, they also have rocks, so we have scattered rocks as well. Looking very good here. And these also have LEDs on here as well, so as you can see here. Very nice looking rocks. Okay, let's go ahead and check out these single rocks. So I'm guessing these are just single rocks. That you can just kind of put around here. So overall, a uh, very good asset. Uh, so I'm very, I'm looking forward to uh, creating something really cool with this. Uh, so we're gonna do that right now. So you might be saying to yourself, well, what if I don't want the color red? What if I want, you know, a natural color like green? Well, I'm gonna show you how to do a quick color change really quickly here. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up in Photoshop here. And if you don't have Photoshop, you can open it up in, you know, whatever free, like, um, photo editing program you have. But, but for this tutorial, I'm gonna use Photoshop. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and go to Image. We're just gonna go to Adjustments, and we're just gonna adjust the, uh, the hue here so we get, like, a green hue. And then I'm just going to just adjust the light just a little bit to get a little bit more contrast. All right, after you've done that, we're going to go ahead and just mess around with the contrast a little bit here. Um, a, lot, a lot more contrast, a bit less bright. And uh, we're going to go ahead and go back to Unity here. It should pop up in a moment. There it is. So let's go to our material here. Uh, let's go ahead and just duplicate this material and then we're just going to rename it. Uh, we're just going to rename it green. Okay, so we're going to grab this one that's called green, and we're just going to replace the uh, the layers here. Two layers, there are three and two, I believe. So let's go ahead and grab our texture, and we're going to go ahead and replace our base map up here. Uh, this this was actually layer three. We just replaced, and then we're going to go up to layer two place the base map so this is layer two 
And I think that is it. So let's go ahead and uh, try this material out. Oh, there we go. It's green. The trees should be just as, uh, just as pretty much the same process here. What you want to do is find your tree texture. Here's our, our base map here. We only have one. We're going to go ahead and find that. And we're going to go ahead and show and explore. And then we're going to go ahead and open with Photoshop. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go to Image. And we're going to go to Hue and Saturation. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, get a nice green color here. And let's go ahead and uh, play with the contrast just a little bit. There we go. And we're going to go ahead and uh, save it here. And we'll see that it shows up there. And we're going to change, keep all this the same here. Now we're going to go ahead and get the, the shader here, the branch material. Is this it? Red plant billboard. Red plant material. Okay, is this not the leaves here? So we just have to find the, the leaves. So that's not the correct one. So we, oh, trees. There we go. That's where we want to be. Trees. So we want to go to branches here, and we're just going to duplicate that shader, and then we're just going to rename it to green. And now we want to go to our base map here. Grab our green here. PNG, yes, that's a PNG, just making sure. And now we want to go back to our our red tree material and then uh, try and drop that on here. And now we have green trees. Now if it turns red, it's only one it's for one reason, one reason only. You just have to change the uh, change the textures on the uh, the LODs as well. That's all. So you have to just come here and replace all the textures on the here so I'm back out yep. and you would have to do the same thing here as well if I back all the way out this will change to its uh, normal color so you have to make sure you change the the, um, the green for all the, you know, the LEDs here so same same process there so that's how you would basically change the change the color so as you can see here I added you know some hills in the background here and um, added a nice uh, skybox. Overall, um, I really like this asset. It looks really good. Um, it serves its purpose. Uh, just check out the 360 video uh, that I made to see it in action here. So if you wanna purchase this asset for yourself, there is a link below. Just scroll down to the link below in the description and check it out for yourself. All right, thank you. See you guys in the next video.